Good morning everybody, it's Monday the 22nd of March. Tomorrow marks one year in lockdown. So Tuesday the 22nd of March, we've been in lockdown one whole year, pretty much. That's when lockdown first happened. So yeah, sobering thoughts. Um, still. Yeah, so I'm up, I'm gonna get ready for work soon, about five, ten minutes before I have to go and get ready. Just chilling, watching a bit of TV sports on at the moment, so I'm not that interested in. Editing together last week's weekly vlog, ready to go up for later on today. Since it's done, I'll whack it up. Slept well. Jennifer actually slept all night. It's so funny, she won't sleep all night during the weekend, but a weekday I can't get her up. Yeah, she goes to bed at the same time. Funny that. <laughs> Yeah, she loves nursery so it's all good so what are the plans for today today is obviously work in nursery got parcels to drop off at the shop as well as our census form it's got to be posted back um uh what else work pick up jennifer depending on the weather if it's nice we'll go down to nana and granddad's and sit in the garden with granddad and nanny and uh you know have a cup of tea down there uh, before coming home and then i don't know let's just see what happens if it's nice we might go out in our garden and if it's not we'll just come in and, and play in the ball pit or something like that because she loves that ball pit you should have seen her in it yesterday it was so much fun um throwing balls everywhere <laughs> it's the only thing you end up with balls everywhere you have to run around picking them up there's toys everywhere again i'll tidy up later um finished the stephen king book so i'm pleased with that with the one of the three stories in um the backman book so i finished the long walk i've started the next one just because I want to um so that's cool i'm not going to rush it but i have i have started it um yeah the, i'm watching uh gabalosis which is this true crime um channel on youtube i'll probably continue to watch that uh, while i'm working i pause it when calls come through so it can be quite bitty but it's still it's like having a bit of noise in the background which is nice so I'm editing together last week's vlog and just uh, chilling before I have to get ready to um, take Jennifer to a nursery. Bless her, she loves nursery. So yeah, I'll see you after I finish and we'll see what happens next. At mum and dad's now and they're playing with a ball. Jen and granddad. Hello darling. <laughs> you nearly knocked granddad over then. You're a bit close, Jen. That's a bit, bit. That's too easy. You gotta get further back. Yeah. Oh shit! Shit them. Jennifer. You can throw your ball. I do. Oh. Who did that? That's your mother. Was not. Your evil grandfather. Go back here and do it. Go back here. Come back here. Okay. Okay. That's it. Now do it. Oh, too far. No, that didn't okay. work, did it? I'll get it for you. Stay back there. Yeah. Well, you're a bit too close there, Jennifer. It won't work. Back that way. Yeah. 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 Oh. Lost me ball. That doesn't matter. Don't be so precise. Now go in, one. Yeah. Ooh, too hard again. You'll do it. I can do it, yeah. I do it with your ball, shall I? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three. Two. Ooh. We got oh, one, one, sort of. You no, know, he stood up and didn't fall down. You got the game. You got the game. You go again. And you'll turn it down. Okay. Yay! Yay. Quite good about you win. Well, yeah, she don't care. Does she? She's so happy. You're right. Now you roll one like Granddad did. I you, you, you throw one on the plate. Like I pick. You pick. 
Oh, you are big, aren't you, darling? You've got the two games. Your voice. Nice day, isn't it? Seeds in there. Let's have a look. Oh, God, yeah. Ah, look at all the things growing. Ooh. That's the... Uh, Sprungins. Sprungins. Sprungins are growing. Ooh, Lots of stuff growing in here. Dad. No, Dad. You play the game. I'm coming now. He's coming to play the game now, Jen. Yeah, nice. That's the game. I hit it. I hit it. I get it. You have. You. You. There you go. Hey, we're about to go. You win again. I win again. Are you working? You answer my door. Okay. Okay. You're tired, my door. <laughs> you keep tripping over them, don't you, Jen? Jen? You're tired. Right, ready? Ready? Go! Oh, got in the middle. Hey, everybody, everybody's in bed. I'm in the dining area because I've been filming. We're going to go upstairs and watch some Gabalosis upstairs while trying to finish off. We'll do a bit more on one of my colouring pages. So I'm over here because I was filming today and I've been filming my Mozart watercolours uh, first impression. So that's these. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what I think of them, but I will show you what we've been working on because I'm trying to finish it this week so I can get this video up. So I'm working on this uh, Ice Princess Chibi from Colour in Heaven's Chibi by Josh Lee. So this has all been done with the watercolours at the moment. As you can see, it's a bit patchy in places. But uh, when I go in to finish it offline, off camera, I will tidy that all up a bit. There's some bits I need to put on there. So in the next, tomorrow I'll film a bit more, hopefully. And I'll be doing a staff. Some of the crystals and probably the, the owl. And then I'll do the rest off camera and I'll try and tidy it up a bit. But then I'm not used to using watercolour half pans and uh, pans I'm used to using pencils I'm not brilliant with that but I thought I'd give it a go so I'm really really enjoying doing that but it's getting on I want to finish off my other page I've got upstairs I did finish one picture today which I'm really pleased with uh, so yeah I've done a quite a few pages this month I I'm not sure how many yet but uh, we'll obviously find that out when I film my colouring book pages at the end of the month and I'm probably going to film that upstairs just because it's easier than lugging all the books down and and the hall so the hall and that I'll do up here but most of the colouring I'll do down here um I'm actually going to probably film my hall Sunday because I need to go to Tesco and uh probably need to go to Tesco and if I do, uh, Relax With Art's probably out and I haven't got the next issue, so I will have a look, see if they've got that. And if I like it, I will buy it. Um, and then that'll be everything for the month. And of course I get my bonus next month. That has now been officially confirmed. It is prorated, which is what I expected. I've got 13 colouring books ready to order with it. I'm very excited. I can't wait to get them. So I'm going to go off to bed and I'll watch some Gabalosis and finish colouring. I'll do a bit more on my leprechaul picture actually. I haven't finished from before St. Patrick's Day because I've just got so much to try and finish but I want to finish that one next. So I'm going to go and do a bit of that and I will see you tomorrow. Quite a lot of vlogging today. Oh, yeah. Well hello. It is Tuesday afternoon and I haven't vlogged all day. Because it's been pretty much the same and the sameness. Oh, I've just eaten the Jaffa cake. I have printed out the new Ava Brown colouring book because obviously I'm on the launch team, so I get a PDF. So I'm going to have a look and colour in that in a minute. I've also been printing off some Jade Summer pictures that I've got. And one Deborah Miller, which I've left on the table, but that's fine. I'm going to get that in a minute. As you can hear Jennifer in the background, I would show you her, but she's actually sitting in her ball pit wearing only a nappy. So I'm not putting that on YouTube, it's just too scary. Anyway. 
I am going to uh, have a look through this Ava Brown book and decide what I want to colour first. It's Wednesday afternoon, I've finished my shift. Jennifer is upstairs asleep in my bed. She has a very bad cold and apparently she was coughing all day. Now she hasn't coughed much since she's been home. I think it's all the running around they do. Um, but she's, uh, she said she was tired. and So we went upstairs to watch some telly upstairs out of the way. Um, and she just fell asleep across me and she's still asleep now. She woke up briefly and then went back to sleep. So not a lot happening today because of that. I'm just going to sit here and do a bit of colouring and uh, have something to eat in a bit. And the way she's looking, she might be going straight to bed like that because she's just, she's so tired. She is not feeling very well at all, I don't think so. I will have to see how she is tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm going to sit here, watch some YouTube and then just keep and listen out for her and hopefully she'll be uh, be all right in a bit. So I'll see you in a bit and let you know what's going on. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday night. I am tired. Jennifer slept for part of the afternoon and uh, she's in bed now but uh, I don't know if she's asleep. She's perked up a bit. I'll see how she is in the morning. I am colouring in Ava Brown's country spring scenes or something it's called and watching Gabalosis, true crime, um, just for a bit while I have a drink and then I'm off to bed and uh, yeah, I'm tired. Bless my baby, she's so sweet. I hope she's okay in the morning. I'll keep an eye on her through the night and just see if she's not well, she's not going. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll call it a night. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to vlog a bit better. Hopefully Jennifer will be well and I'll do some filming. Anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning everybody. It is now Thursday morning. Jennifer is in nursery. She's a bit better this morning. They said she was coughing a lot yesterday. But yesterday in the evening, she didn't cough at all. And she's coughed once since she's got up. So, like I said, she did fall asleep in the evening, in the afternoon. And she eventually went to sleep. But she got up this morning about half past six. So I was able to have my breakfast and most of my cup of tea in peace before she came down, which was nice. So I've told them if she starts coughing again a lot, just ring me and I will come and get her. Don't worry about calling me, just call me, I will come and get her because I'd rather, you know, we'd be out of that situation if, if you know, if she's not well. And I don't want to make any other kids ill if she's got something, she, you know. I am now watching a YouTube channel called Beepers Keepers History Seekers or something like that. Yeah, Beepers Keepers History Seekers. They're urban exploration guys and they're very funny. Very, very funny. I watched one last night when I woke up and I couldn't get back to sleep. And it was very funny. It's, we're not going to name where it is. And then they told you about a television program that was made in it. So all you have to do was Google the television program and you can find out where it was. Um, but yeah. It was, um, but yeah, it was, they are very funny people, so yeah, looking forward to watching a bit of them later. <sighs> it's raining today, it's not very nice at all, so yeah, I'm going to crack on because I'm just setting up for work. And I'll see you afterwards, and I'll see what happens. Finders Beepers is called. Finders Beepers History Seekers. It's very good. Bad enough. We just put Jennifer to bed, she's kicking off because it's too dark and it's scary, she's got a light on. I've got a headache. I'm going to try and sort her out now. And then I've got an order to pack. I've got to go and do it. I keep forgetting. <sighs> Sometimes life's too hard. Hey guys, it's Friday morning. I'll be admit I'm a bit tired. Jennifer had me up a couple of times in the night. She slept all right though when she went off. And she got up fine this morning. It's the main thing. And she was happy today. Very happy. But I feel absolutely shattered. But it's Friday. Unfortunately, the clocks go forward this morning month this week so i'm expecting it to get me up very early on the weekend of next week which is not going to be i'm not going to be happy good news from the welsh government is that they are restru redu removing the stay local policy we can now travel anywhere in wales that we can't travel outside but that means i can go to the range and get some paint from tomorrow for her room and have a look around i'll probably actually get it next week when i get paid because i have money then so or i could put up my credit card and pay off when i get paid it's not a big deal but yeah, so it's all about just trying to get everything sorted for that, um, get her room. Part of the reason is she wants a big bed and she said she wants a proper bed now. So, oh, sweet. I better get back to work. 
Oh, I could just go back to sleep. I'm so tired. I'm glad it's the weekend. <laughs> I will see you later. Hey everyone, it's Friday evening and I am absolutely shattered. Jennifer's sound asleep in bed, which is good news. If Paul's in the other room, I've just come in here to wash my TV. Um, before I go to sleep, I'm still watching Finders Beepers, trying to catch up on watching their videos. I'm really enjoying them actually, they're really good. Um, Yeah, she's been as good as gold today, I've got to be honest. Fair. Hair's down because I've had a shower, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm just glad it's the weekend. It's been a pretty weird week. If I'm from tomorrow, we can go anywhere in Wales. Can't go out of Wales, but we can go anywhere in Wales, which is good. So. And yet tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so we probably won't be going anywhere. Which is annoying, but it is what it is. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. I've got to film a video soon. I've got to film a colour and chat. I'm just too tired every night. See how it goes tomorrow if Paul takes Jen out. Because sometimes she and him go for a walk on their own. I might try and do it then. I might just try and do it with her in the room and see how she, how it goes. Obviously she might keep coming in and out and I'll have to keep stopping and starting, but at least I'll get it done. But I'll see you tomorrow and let you know what's going on. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, it depends on the weather. Hey everyone, it's Saturday afternoon. I'm exhausted. Jennifer had me up in the night for a good few hours and I'm absolutely shattered and then she got up early this morning. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow when the clocks have gone forward but hey. So I've been doing washing and stuff like that. Paul's taking her out for a walk. So I'm gonna have a little rest and read for a bit. I've just received this today which is Otto Penzler's Ultimate Compendium of Legacy and Legend of history's most notorious serial killer, Jack the Ripper. Fact, fiction and legend. As you can see, it's a very thick book. Um, basically, there's some factual stuff. It's mostly short stories, though. Um, fictional stories, which is quite interesting. I don't think it's something you could read in one go, because, uh, you know, some of the stories are quite similar, obviously, because it's about Jack the Ripper. Um, but I would imagine it's going to be quite interesting. It's got the original story of the lodger in here, the short story which Alfred Hitchcock made into a film. I think he made it twice. One as a silent, one as a talkie. So, it's got a, if I can find it, a uh, marker built into it. It was published by Hedda Seuss. I love Hedda Seuss books, and I saw this when it first came out, and I wanted it, but I just couldn't justify the cost. This is actually an ex-library edition, so you can see where they've um, pulled out the thing and it's got one of those plastic library jackets on. I'm not really worried about that actually because it's keeping it quite nice. I've actually read the introduction by Otto Penzler, or most of it, um, so I'll probably just finish that off, there's a tiny little bit left. And then I'm just going to read it piecemeal, just a little bit here and there while I feel for it. So I've actually got two new Ripper books this month. Um, you'll see them again in my reading wrap up and it's The Crimes and Times of Jack Ripper by Tom Cullen which was sold and originally by the look of it in London or second hand in London for 10 pence a long time ago it's very rare now um, it, it, yeah it's out of print so it was originally 40 pence so that tells you how old the book it was um, no ISBN apart from this barcoded one which means it probably sold on Amazon or somewhere like that there's some notes in it, I haven't read it, it's uh, Rodney Books and Games, Barkin it was originally published in I think it was 1970 something. I'm just looking to see if there's any publishing information in here. 1970s or something. 76, I got a feeling it was. But it's a, a fairly old book as well, so. It's about, uh, yeah. And there are notes in it, which is always interesting when you see people's. Daniel Farson. I know him. Know of him. Let's have a look. What does it say here? It's falling apart. George Yard, Whitechapel, first one, near Sun, oh, near Gunthorpe Street, oh, or by Gunthorpe Street, or is, yeah, is near Gunthorpe Street. Oh, right, okay, so it looks like there's going to be notes throughout this one, which could be quite interesting to, to read, hopefully, anyway, so I'll have a look at that, hopefully when I, uh, get to it, I mean, I've got an, I've got three Jack the Ripper books to read. There's some on eBay I'm following. The one of them's gone quite high though, 
but they're first editions. I'm not really worried about that. I can pick them up individually if I want them. Um, but there are some groups of books that I might bid on if they don't go up too high. Then Some of them haven't got one or two bids. Some of them have only got no bids. And this one is up to £12.50 for three first editions, which I would like, but I'm not that bothered. You know, I can just think, oh, I'll get another. I'm not bothered about having first editions as long as I get a copy of the book I want, so... But yes, I'm going to have a little rest now, plug my phone in because I've been reading and stuff. And yeah, let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to tackling these Jack Ripper books as well as the other one I've got. So yeah, I am a Ripperologist. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. Um, trying to find me up again in the night. So as usual, I'm shattered. <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, just sitting here. I'm doing a bit of colouring and I'll make sharpen this in a minute. We'll sharpen in a bit. <laughs> it is just so bless her, she's fine, but uh, yeah, she's doing it every night at the moment and it's absolutely destroying me. I'm not getting enough sleep. Uh, and it's horrible out, it looks really grim and horrible and rainy, but I can't do enough about the weather obviously. You finished? Good girl. I don't, have you got? I don't, you got any more, darling? I have to get you some in the shop. I'll put it on the list. Demanding, aren't they? All of her. She's watching her program on YouTube, so she's all right. But, eh? I can't come. Where are we going? The park. And I'm going to the park. We've got to go shopping, haven't we? Oh, I'm going for a little walk yet, yeah, Jen. Anyway, I'm going to finish my cup of tea and I'll see you later. Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon. I've not done a lot. We've been shopping. I'm still shattered. So we got all the shopping done. Um, I did buy some markers from Lidl's that they had in and I bought two of the Relax With Art books. I've just got to check um, what number of the pocket ones I've got. Because they're really good for like if you're travelling and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a look at those. I'm hopefully going to be filming my haul video for the month anything else that comes in after this will go into april's haul which is going to be a big coloring book haul i am about to sort out the washing well mine and jennifer's washing she's not happy because i'm upstairs and wouldn't let her come up because um she just messes everything up and of course she just spent the entire time i was in the shower watching me and then i i turned it off and i was like getting self sorted and she goes all clean now yeah i said mummy's all clean now and she ran out going daddy daddy mummy's all clean now <laughs> Glad it was just dad out there <laughs> but they're dad out there i mean come on um but yeah we're all right she's probably watching tv or playing with something now but i'm just gonna sort this watching out and then i'm gonna go back down but yeah i'm planning on um film a bit more mozart there's not a lot of that left to film i want to get that finished because i'm running out of space on my internal hard drive on my computer be just simply because there's so many videos on there i mean i'm putting up the flip throughs every day just to clear the space um to get rid of them to delete them really and i, I could delete the brute funa part one files because i've edited it together it's ready to go up i'm always a bit wary about doing that in case they disappear off the hard drive because it does sometimes happen um but yeah I mean, technically, I could upload all the videos and then just put them live as and when I wanted to, but I'd, I'd, I'd get confused then. I wouldn't know what I was doing. So, yeah. Pretty big haul this month. Um, got a fair few bits of supplies. And I got a few current books, but some of them were free, so I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. I, I'm really dopey. I'm tired, but I do want to do a bit of filming tonight. I do want to film my ex and my complete not my completed pages because we're not quite there but my um book haul and then i can put the completed pages from that haul because there's a few of them onto the completed pages part and it's gonna be quite a lot this month but then i've done so many patterns i would say probably about half or two-thirds of the pic pictures or three quarters of the pictures are all a patterns because i just quite enjoy just sitting there just gel chilling um but yeah anyway i'm gonna get this washing put away otherwise i'm gonna be here all day doing it so i'll see you in a little while can't find the button to switch you off right sunday evening everybody's in bed and yeah this is a really boring vlog this week there's not much happened um but i am about to film my supply book 
decor for the month because I can't see buying anything else. If I do, I'll just roll over into the next one. The only thing that might arrive is, um, well, the one to buy. Johanna Bassford, which is due on April the 1st. It might arrive early, you know, you never know. So, <clears throat> hasn't been dispatched, so I'm not worrying about it. I know some people have already got it. Um, but that can go into April's, as can anything else, if I pick something else up in the supermarket. But I thought I'd get on with it now, so, yeah. I'll see you after. I've finished filming all that now. I've got my folder out, as you can see, of my kind of pages that are in my folder. It's very thin. It's going to get a lot thicker soon, because I'm doing a lot of the PDFs, because of the Ava Brown stuff, but... I've also got a couple of others on the go. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. So it's been a pretty dull one. I'm hoping next week might be a bit, be a bit more exciting because I have to go places. Excuse me? No, I can't. Um, so I'm going to what tomorrow my dad does have a look at some paint and stuff. If I can't get what I want there, then I'll be going to the range. And probably the same, probably tomorrow afternoon, take Jen with us. Um, just because I need paint for her room and I want to have a look and uh see what i can get but yeah i've got to check my bank first don't get paid till wednesday blink in nightmare i'm tired i'm actually gonna have a little color with some markers in bed um i've just been looking at all my gel pens my glitter gel pens I've got bloody millions of them i've got tons of link shine because i bought some more because I, I wanted to i was trying to get 10 of each color and i couldn't because they stopped stocking them or they're out of stock and then i've opened up another bag and, and this pencil case here this is full of them and all. Well, not link shine, but just like more, more gel pens. The Arteza ones in here. Um, this is just the glitter ones. So uh, uh, Aeon, Arteza, all sorts. So I'm gonna have to have a look at these and use them for a change. I'm not even in the picture. I don't care. So I will see you tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. Hopefully it'll be more happening now. It's Easter next weekend. So we will be vlogging. We will vlog over the weekend, but I'm actually going to take Easter off from colouring. Not from colouring, but from filming colouring videos. And so I'll be doing the weekly vlog as normal. I won't be filming any colouring videos from Friday through to through Monday. I'll start again on Tuesday. So the last one I filmed will be Thursday and then the first one again will be the following Tuesday. Uh, so just to give me a break, there will be uploads. Uh, I've got plenty of things to upload and hopefully I'll be finishing a bit more stuff this week if I can. So plenty to upload, but I just won't be colour I won't be making videos. I'm gonna have a other than the weekly vlog, I'm gonna have a break. Hopefully the weather's gonna be better next week and I might be able to sit in the garden, which is always nice. <laughs> I will see you very soon um, with lots of other videos. So we've got completed pages, colouring book haul, there'll be my reading wrap up, which I've got to write out because it's going to take me forever because it's huge. Um, so there'll be those three um, as well as uh, flip throughs, weekly vlogs and colouring chats. And I'm hoping to get first impressions up next week. I've just got to finish the picture fingers crossed that's it for tonight that's it for this week i'll see you on monday